I am really pleased to be here with Amy Hunt on behalf of AMZ Scout. Amy, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. Well, thank Welcome. you so much. I, I appreciate you taking me taking me on to your show. It's my pleasure. Tell us a little bit about what you've been doing for the last number of years in terms of selling on Amazon. Give us a little background. Okay, so my daughter was born. Um, in 2003 and I wanted to I, I went back and forth to be a stay-at-home mom and at the time I kind of dabbled probably two years prior into eBay so I thought well if I stay home I could just you know sell a few things I lived near outlets so I would go over to the outlets and just kind of experiment grab some things that were on sale and put them on eBay and they started to sell and I was like well this is kind of interesting uh, and then somebody in the family, my husband's family's friend, had a huge, huge uh, website by t the year 2003, which was unusual then, um, that she was selling things. And she didn't know how to market to Amazon or eBay. So she just went straight to, you know, people went straight to her website from a Google search. And I said, and she asked me, do you want to sell some of my items on Amazon or yeah, Amazon at the time, Amazon was like more of books and that kind of stuff. And I'm like, man, I guess I didn't even know I could sell on Amazon. So I looked into it and I started listing products and we basically had an agreement that I would sell the products on Amazon and then I would go to our website. I had a special coupon code that I entered and I got that discount so I could mark it up however high I could sell it for. I'd get the money back and we call that drop shipping today. At the time, it had no name. So uh, maybe we were the uh, pioneers of drop shipping without having termed it drop shipping. But we were really, I feel like, head ahead of what was going on basically online. She had the vision, uh, and she was a very successful businesswoman, still is. And so I would drop ship to Amazon and eBay, and that started in 2003 when my daughter was born. My first year, I believe, I made somewhere around $5,000. The second year, 25000 It was like, oh my word, what is this? <laughs> And it's been, I've been home since. Uh, so, and I've been doing stuff like that as well as adding different avenues that I've uh, dabbled into and played around with because I know this sounds kind of weird, but once something starts running, it's like, okay, now what else can I do? And I've often had that question asked, like my brother said, well, why would people want to make courses or, or teach it if they're successful? Why share that? And there comes a time or it comes a point where you want to share success and see other people grow. You kind of get bored just doing it because it's just like this automated system. So that's where I kind of started. So just out of curiosity, is your sense that there's just tons of untapped potential? I, It's funny. As far as sales go, um, I can tell you from my experience since... September, October that there is. I think a lot of people think it's saturated in some ways, um, perhaps maybe with a few products, but when you add millions of products into the equation with millions and millions and millions of people who buy even billions of products, I, I mean, I don't, the numbers are way too high for my mind to even wrap around that. So I had an experience <laughs> I think it was October that I can share then on why I don't think it's saturated. I was I was actually very shocked at what I found, and it was through using AMZ Scout. So before we go to AMZ Scout, talk a little bit about just helping people who don't understand what drop shipping actually means from your perspective. Okay, so today drop shipping means taking a product that you don't actually have at your house, you have online somewhere, you have a supplier, you list that in a marketplace, whether it be eBay, Amazon, um, whatever the platforms are, Facebook, Shopify, whatever those platforms are, you list that product, you make the sale, you go back to your supplier, you order it. 
It's simple. The suppliers, the supplier will do the shipping. You do not handle any of those products. You don't have them in your hand. You don't have them at your house. You don't have them in storage. All you do is take the address, the name of the person who ordered it, and basically your order processor. That's really what a drop shipper is. That's a different name, I guess, an order processor. You list, you process the order. You get paid. In terms of processing the order, isn't most of that work already done through Amazon when the buyer puts all that information? It's not like you're hand entering all of this information, is it? Well, there are different softwares that can automate that process. Uh, so you can invest in different softwares that do that for you. But if you don't have any software and you get an order on Amazon, you will have to take that address and the name and you'll have to plug it in for an order. There's a multitude of softwares out there right now, um, some that I like better than others. And uh, it, and some of them are, um, you have a little bit of a payment or subscription to automate the process. It really depends where you are financially, how much you want to invest. Do you see this as a business? Is this a side gig? Can you afford to spend $20 to make your life easier? Like all those are questions if you're going to try to run a business that you have to answer. And, and perhaps, I mean, you can start with no money to do this. Zero money invested to start drop shipping. That's why I liked it in the beginning. Um, but then to automate the process and get your hands free to do some other things like I do, you automate the process with software. Talk a little bit about what the process is billions of products how do you pick what you're going to bring to amazon to sell so if if you could have a tv show and highlight <laughs> the question of every drop shipper or a podcast that's probably the question everyone asks any kind of business is like what product's going to sell like you don't know right your brain doesn't just know so when I say there's billions or maybe millions, billions of products out there, how do you know? Well, you can either uh, do what I used to do and list things from the Walmart <laughs> sale category for the flyer. That's how I used to do it. And just guess and, and hope that it would work. Or you can go <laughs> save yourself some time and grow directly. And this is what I do now. I go to AMZ Scout. AMZ Scout has software and extensions uh, a website that basically targets in and does all the the numbers, like statistical nerds. They do all the number crunching for Amazon to tell you exactly how much a product makes, how much is, you know, I could go into another hour's worth of talking on what AMZ Scout does alone. So you can go in as the, the seller, target in on products with a matter of seconds, and find products and niches that actually are selling. It's not get. It takes the guesswork out of it. It takes the financial scaredness out of being a seller or want to start your own business. Um, Talk a little bit about the niches. What What do you mean by that? So a niche would be like if you're walking down uh, like a store. It would be the big signs that are up in the top where you're looking up like, where do I go for bedding? Where do I go for menswear? Where do I go for electronics? That's like a niche, like basically a store category, um, a department. Talk about what your focus has been with your business in the last two or three years. So I, I kind of have like, a, I guess, a morphing of what my business, business has been. As you know, I started out drop shipping and then I learned how to do YouTube. So drop shipping was kind of on automatic. I learned how to do YouTube and I found another uh, form of income through YouTube sharing drop shipping. So I started doing YouTube and then I got a lot of contacts from different software companies that they wanted me to do reviews on their software and you not only learn it myself but teach others. So I was like, well, if I'm teaching others on YouTube why don't I create a course so I created a course so because I was getting a lot of um, students and customers that it was easier for me to just say here go to my course instead of go to this video go to that video go to this video so I created a course and then in doing that um, I've turned into like this I guess you'll say uh, an expert on drop shipping and just te a teacher of drop shipping. So that's how AMZ Scout and I got together. They were one of the people that reached out to me uh, out of a lot 
and I have stuck with them because the results of me using their software has been better than anybody else I've used. And it's easy. It's easy for my students to jump right into and learn it. I feel like the, the platform of learning on it has been simple um, and it's so well set up. Like I'm a teacher, so it frustrates me when things aren't set up well. This is well thought out. AMZ Scout um, has a system of teaching and when you want somebody to use a product, they have to know. So they have a teaching system within their software company. When you look at your partnership with AMZ Scout, how has that changed how you sell over the last few years? So I used to drop ship, solely drop ship, but when I got AMZ Scout's information, and, and it was a shot in the dark, like what I was listing, it saved me time targeting in on products to drop ship. Then I felt comfortable because what I was picking from my AMZ Scout experience, the software, I was drop shipping and selling. So then I was like, well, I know AMZ Scout's working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna target in and create my own product from the information that AMZ Scout has, has taught me. So I created one product and I experimented with it probably for nine months just to learn um, targeting on Amazon ads, all the information that AMZ Scout gave me so then I broadened my one product into, I think I have about 12 products now. So that is how I used AMZ Scout. It was like, um, I don't know if you would call it safety net. It was more like padding for me to take that step out and develop my own product because I tested whether or not the information I was getting from maybe AMZ Scout was working. So now that that is automated, I'm back to drop shipping again with AMZ Scout on a platform that I was scared to do and never used until October. And what was that platform? I'm not sure what you're, I, I'm not following. Okay, it's Shopify. So it's basically my own, oh. it's it's my own website. It's my own domain name. Um, and I ship on, or I, I have my own store on Shopify now. Okay, so let me just ask a yeah. question just so. So what platform have you added I've added as a result of this work. So as a result, I've gone from eBay to Amazon. I sell some other places, but they're the big ones. And now I have my own Shopify store, which has its own domain name and website address and that sort of thing. So I was a little scared to do that because I'm not an expert at doing a Shopify store. I let everybody else do my, do the marketing through, through Amazon and eBay. But when I targeted in and I listed a few things that, are, that were my products, they were selling a little bit here and there, but once I targeted in with AMZ Scout and found a specific product I found off of AMZ Scout on Amazon and I listed it in my store, my store just took off in October. It was, it was, um, I was at the beach actually and all of a sudden my phone kept going cha-ching, cha-ching. I'm like, what's wrong with my phone? <laughs> What happened? Um, I w it was in the morning when I woke up. Everybody else was sleeping. I went into my computer and I clicked a couple things, searched around on AMZ Scout. And within an hour, my phone just kept cha-chinging, cha-chinging. By that night, I had 83 orders by 8 p.m. And I was like, holy smokes, is this real? I kept saying to my husband, is this real? Is this real? Because he kept hearing the cha-ching, cha-ching. What is that? What is that? I said, there are orders on my Shopify store. And we're on vacation, so I didn't really want to like go into it because we had friends around. And I, was, I kept going, looking down at my phone, I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was from targeting in on a uh, AMZ Scout product. And then so as the week went on, a few, you know, the, the orders went down and I was like trying to catch up and learn Shopify within a couple days on vacation. Um, and then it slowed down a little bit and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should go back to AMZ Scout. I looked up another product. I posted, this was like my little test. Was that really what happened? I went back, I listed another product I found from AMZ Scout and there it went again. Boom, boom. Like, goodness. Like, <laughs> I wanted to see what was going on on the other side of my store. I could see like the customers kept coming in, kept coming in. So that's the experience I had starting Shopify, not knowing what I'm what I'm doing and like almost like a panic because I have so many orders. 
So that that was my that's my latest AMZ Scout story. So it went from you know eBay to or actually it went from Amazon to eBay to Facebook. That's where I've, I've and then and then landed at Shopify. Yeah, my Shopify is connected to Facebook, so all that is how it happened. Can you talk a little bit about when you look back at it? What was your motivation to add these different platforms? Um. Well, like I said, you you kind of get bored with the same thing. <laughs> like, what am I gonna do during the day? Like. I'm a stay-at-home mom now. My kids are in high school. What else? I just kind of fiddle around and try out new things, and why not add some more money to the bank account, especially when college is coming up? Um, and the fun account, I call it the fun account, where I can get, you know, just fun things or go on vacations or whatever. When you decided to – can you talk Can you talk about the product that you – or products that you've created? I would just say a cat, like a niche. I could just say my niche um, is in jewelry. Yeah. Okay. So um, talk a little bit about when you look at what you've done, especially with Shopify, adding Shopify, and your ability to create these automated systems across different platforms, eBay, Amazon, what does it look like from your standpoint? Are you just blown away at what you've been able to accomplish? What do you think people would be surprised to hear about this process for you? I was actually just talking to my husband about this the other day because I showed him what I made last month and he's like, wow. <laughs> and um, I said, you know, it's it's very uneventful in this job to, can, like, I won't, I will probably, I could probably safely say every day I get a deposit into my account and I don't know where they're coming from half the time. It's just my bank account just keeps going up and up and up. And I said, you know, it's kind of uneventful and not satisfying because you don't like have that one day where you rip open your check and you go, Oh my gosh, like not saying I don't appreciate the money that's coming in. I totally appreciate that money, but it's just a very strange feeling. And I also warn people, like, once they start doing this, it's it's almost somewhat addictive. Um, and the other part is you really, I, I really get a disappreciation for working a 9-to-5 job because I just, all of a sudden, there's $100 into my bank account. And I was just downstairs playing with my dog, like, eh. It's just that you got to be careful to check in, but you know I do put a lot of work in on on the other hand. But it's just that kind of the now it's come into the expectation that deposits are going to be put in every day. So there's definitely a, a money view that's changed for me. Like it used to be a hundred dollars would be awesome if I could make a hundred dollars a month, and it changed to five hundred to a thousand to two to three. Like it just you know got to keep yourself uh, in check and in balance. Talk about a little more detail about using AMZ Scout and how it's helped you in terms of, you know, facing the challenges of, of the right products, that sort of thing. So when I use AMZ Scout, it really gives me that peace of mind at this point to go to Amazon and look around to see what's selling. It's no guesswork. I click on uh, the automated extension information to know if I invest in this product, how much money I would invest, how much I would get in return per month. So it really takes that fear away. Um, I've checked the numbers with my st actual statistics of what I'm selling and they're pretty close. I mean, you know, really close from what I've sold it for and what I'm getting. So not only do I have the the futuristic site, what AMZ gives me, I have now the experience from my own products that I can back check what I've sold to see if AMZ Scout is on and they are. And when you go into AMZ Scout, talk a little bit about the process of, of selecting products. Um, I imagine that can be a, a huge challenge from the standpoint of <laughs> where do I start? Where do you start, right? Um, there, there are several different ways you can go about doing that. 
I sometimes will go in and target in on like the, each category, each department, each aisle of the store has a top 100 sales. I mean, you could go in and do that um, and, and pick a product from the top 100 sales, see if you're going to sell anything, see if it has a good listing. You can go that direction. AMZ Scout themselves send out each uh, month, they send out some targeted products. If you get a subscription to them, they'll actually help you find products. There's an automated tool within the extension. You hit refresh and it gives you a niche that's hot, uh, that's selling right now. Sometimes it's seasonal. Sometimes it's an evergreen product. So you can go in not having a clue what you uh, want to sell and just click a few buttons and AMZ Scout will give you ideas. And then you as your own you know, personality, your own comfort levels will maybe pick something that you feel like you know or something because you want to know a little bit or have a little bit of experience with something in case the customer has a question. You don't have to be an expert about it, um, but you might learn later. Like once that customer asks that question, you'll look into it and give them an answer. So kind of a mix of what can AMZ Scout tell you about the product? How much is it selling for? How much will you make? How much do you want to make? I mean, those are all questions that you uh, will have to answer personally. Like how much money do you have to invest or buy? Or do you want to drop ship? Or do you want to just outright invest in your own branded product? Really depends where you where you are in your whole business mind. Yeah, yeah. I imagine that um, a lot of products that have great stats on Amazon don't translate very well into other marketplaces. Is that the case? So that's what everyone thinks. <laughs> so, I introduced about I would say maybe a year, ten months ago that, hey guys, I'm using AMZ Scout to sell on eBay, right? And I don't think many people were doing that. I think they were just using AMZ Scout to target in and, and brand their own products. I'm like, why wouldn't we try to cross market, you know, what information? I mean, if it's selling on Amazon, it's going to be selling somewhere else that well or not that well. So the other new thing, so people watching this, what nobody is doing, and I talked to a guy earlier in the summer, I had a one-on-one -on -one session with him, I said, nobody's doing this. They're not taking AMZ Scout's information and putting it on Facebook. Nobody's doing that. Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Shops. So that's what I did in October. I took my Shopify store, I connected to Facebook, I made a shop, and when I used those products that I found on AMZ Scout, it just, it just blew up. I, I honestly, honestly, it was and, crazy. And what was it specifically that AMZ Scout showed you that helped you to go, this is the product that I want to try. These are the products I want to try. And talk a little bit about how close it was to meeting or exceeding your, uh, your expectations. Well, I guess it, it's been a... Uh, a snowball effect you know over the years I've tried AMZ Scout testing them out just like any you know software company that would reach out to me it was easy for me to understand as a new person um, so I kind of stuck with it I learned uh, I also tested it I tested it on Amazon I tested it on eBay and as time went on it just was okay now the next step is fill in the blank and so it was get my own product so then it went from get my own product to get my own store so I don't have to pay the fees that are on Amazon and eBay and I make more money on my own Shopify store because there's no fees well then it turned into okay so I need more stuff in my store besides my 12 products I actually create my own uh, artwork through sermons I listen to at church. So I started uploading some of my designs and putting them on um, clothing in my shop, uh, in my st Shopify store. And I was like, well, I need more stuff, right? <laughs> so then that's when I looked into Amazon to see what product I could take to supplement that niche. So the niche began because I found it on Amazon and then I just kept growing that niche. So that niche is now my Shopify store. That is wild. Talk about your results from doing this a little bit. Well, <laughs> keeps me busy for sure. 
So as you can hear, I have a lot going on. I have eBay. It's now that I've designed my own stuff, I can put it on Etsy. Um, when you design your own things, you can list it on Etsy. So my jewelry, that's my niche. Uh, I can put it on Etsy. Um, I can put my designs that I do for my the church sermons, I can put that on Etsy. So there's a lot that I can do that. And it's just, it's exciting to me. It keeps me busy or not busy. <laughs> my son was like, Mom, yesterday after he got home from the store, can we go get my hunting license? Sometime, maybe like tomorrow or sometime, I'm like, why not just go now? He's like, can you do that? I'm like, I'm my own boss, Jordan. We can go. <laughs> so we just left. Um, so that's the freedom that I have. Like, I, I get to customers when I need to get to them as soon as possible in the morning. And then I'm free. Like, I don't even have to do that. I could delay it. I went to lunch with my friend. Like, so all this yesterday. So all this freedom is the result of, of a lot of research and hard work. It's not going to just come to you easily like a lot of people think, oh, I'm just going to drop ship this one thing and boom, you're a millionaire. Like, it seems that some people try to advertise that. Uh, it's it's work. It's investment. Any Anything that grows into something good is typically invested. There, there's the rare person that's going to show up and post a couple things and boom, they've made money. But that's the rare case. Um there it's it's work but i'll tell you amz scout helps minimize the amount of research you have to do to find the right products it's really helped me talk a little bit about what you do in regards to the amount of work like i imagine there's been uh, a ton of orders that you've had to process nowadays um and how do you kind of work that because you've got it sounds like you've got a really fabulous lifestyle from this with a, a tremendous amount of of flexibility but there's still work that needs to be done talk about how that looks on a day-to-day -day basis for you so i wake up every morning i know this sounds crazy but i'm excited to get get to the computer and find out what happened overnight like because i'll wake up and make money through the night too and so my priority is my customers, so if, uh, not like I've gotten to the point now where I don't ship a whole lot from my home, uh, just to take that, give me time freedom. So I've shifted into, um, actually I'm promoting some USA products now through a totally different means uh, as well, but that gives me more time to do some other things. Like now all this other stuff is automated. I ship every once in a while. Um, this morning I had a lot to ship. Now my son has like said, hey mom, can we sell this? So I'm helping him sell some things on eBay. So he's learned how to make a little extra money himself. He's a teenager, so he gets it. Um, so I've, I've shifted into targeting in on some USA products, promoting that a little bit. And uh, it's been, th that's my day. I just kind of do whatever I've I hate to say this, but whatever I feel like doing, like if somebody said, what do you, like you just asked, what do you do every day? Like, what is it exactly? I'm like, well, I just start opening tabs and clicking on emails and seeing what, what needs attention. Uh, sometimes it's my kids that need attention and not my business stuff. Or I also, I also coach a travel basketball team for my son. I manage the basketball's Facebook website uh, for the school. So I do some volunteer stuff uh, for our church too. So I'm just all over the place. I, I don't even tell a lot of people what I do because it's too much. It would take an hour to explain it. My, my son, he was funny. He was in like eighth grade ish. And I guess every once in a while his friends would say, what's your mom do? Uh, he's like, mom, what do I tell him? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. Just tell him I work on the computer. <laughs> That's the easiest way to explain it for a kid. But yeah, the the day-to-day -day thing, there's no set schedule. It's just I open my emails and I start from there to see what orders I need to actually physically put in the mailbox or take to the store or the post office. And then I imagine you're also looking at products that are, are running out, what I'm going to replace them with. What I mean, because you're always coming up with new products aren't you it's not just the same products it seems like time. it seems like I'm coming up with new products and I actually have tried to pull the reins on myself 
because I have so many ideas of things I want to do. I'm like, okay, I just got to calm down. Like I said, uh, behind the scenes, my New Year's resolution resolution is not to do more. It's to get a balance in my life and appreciate and take in and uh, digest what I'm doing in the moment. So I... So I don't try, um, this year, like I'm trying not to develop more. I have a bunch of contacts I've already contacted for new products. I'm just trying to slow down. <laughs> so. I love it. Yeah. I, I have two uh, final questions for sure. you. Sure. When you look at AMZ Scout, it sounds like it's been a really huge part of your success. Is that a fair statement? I would say yes, absolutely. I think I. In I, what ways? I think I was in the car driving in second gear before, uh, <laughs> afraid to go fast, honestly, afraid to take a risk and shift and go and uh, maybe maybe get off the, the back streets and get on the highway, basically. And, and uh, AMZ Scout gave me the freedom to shift into fifth gear into my sports car and uh, jump on the highway. So basically, it gave me the comfort the security and the confidence to take a risk uh, that wasn't as risky as I thought because I had information. I think when you have information, you have knowledge. I mean, you don't go be, you, you're not a surgeon. You don't just show up and, and go in the surgery, you know, surgery without information. AMZ Scout is that information. There's a whole school in there that can teach you how to go into surgery, how to go into getting your own products, how to sell, how to brand. That's what I feel like AMZ Scout did for me. Excellent. When you think about somebody who's looking at doing what you've done, what do you want them to know? Uh, I feel like a lot of people get in the car and never put it in gear. Some people don't even start the car. They just research and research and research. And who do I believe and what do I... It's hard. Who do you believe? You've watched a ton of YouTube videos. Um, you know, who's the guy that I go to? Basically, I would tell them, go with who your gut tells you to go with. Who you feel comfortable with. Who matches up with your personality, your situation. And I would say... Go for it. Get in the car. Turn the turn the ignition on. That would be starting your accounts or finding a teacher, and then put it in gear. And that would be investing or listing. You don't even have to. The way I teach my course with AMZ Scout is you don't have to have a single penny to get started. All you have to do is have some time and a computer, and I can show you how to get that started. And that's what I do in my course. If you want to up your game. Then you invest a little bit based on what you've sold. Uh, so many people are teaching, okay, give me $1,000 and I'll teach you how to invest $5,000. And it's like, do you know who you're really trying to teach? Like most people don't have that money to invest. They want to just make some extra money. Uh, so I, you can do both ways and I can teach you both ways. But in reality, most people, most people that are looking into this don't have a whole lot of money. And that's why they're trying to do it. Yeah, so go for it. And they can do it, can't they? They can do it. it. It's just, it's a matter of a decision, just like getting in a car to turn the switch. Do you want to do it? Make time. It's not It's not going to be like a one, some people get frustrated. Oh, they text me or message back in my group, my Facebook group. I haven't sold anything in a week. How many things did you list? Three. I'm like, well... Okay, if you open like a retail, you know, brick and mortar store and you put three products in it, do you think you're going to sell a whole lot? Like, you know, you got to have a different mindset than, than the get rich quick people that are out there telling everyone that that's a possibility. It's a this much of a pot. It's just like winning the lottery. It's a possibility, but, but. <laughs> but it also sounds like. In, if I were to summarize what I've heard you say, it sounds like it's just been this lovely, steady progression of more products, more platforms, but at the same time, a whole ton of flexibility and freedom. Yeah, I, I would say the steadiness of it isn't as 
steady as you would think. Uh, it has been a degree for me, basically. I do, uh, I do all the learning and I share it on my YouTube channel. I haven't done much of YouTube videos lately because I was learning my Shopify store. So I took time off to add a new platform, add a new uh, avenue. I'm also promoting the USA products um, at my it's shopfamilyowned.com if you want to know more. But I, I've taken more time. AMZ Scouts enabled me to have targeted products that I don't have to put so much research into it. So that's where it's at with that. Amy Hunt, tell everybody how they can find you, your products, your training. So AMZ Scout has a course on their on their website. I believe it's amzscout.net. Uh, you can find me on their website. I have my course there. Uh, there's tons of information you can learn there. I also have a website. It's called amyhunt.biz. I have not updated as much as I should and could. I have Facebook, I have Instagram, <laughs> a little bit of everything, uh, depending where you're comfortable learning from. But uh, primarily my my videos are YouTube, and then if you want to learn AMZ Scout, that sort of thing, you want to go to AMZ Scout. You are an inspiration. I, to hear, you know, just the, the progression, the ups, the downs, the additions, um, it is never going to get old or boring, is it? It's not, <laughs> no, there's always something to do. And, uh, you know, I, I have a friend and we were just talking about this yesterday at my son's, we were watching my son and his son play basketball and we were talking and it's like, yeah, we just need a moment where our brains shut off. Um, and I like to play video games. So that's when my brain shuts off from work. I told him, I said, I have to do it because I don't like watching TV. I can't stand the news at this point. So what do I do? I play video games. So it, there's always something to learn. Um, I said I wake up in the morning at 7 or 8 and my brain and I work. My brain goes and goes and goes until about 8 or 9 at night. Either kids, business, learning, teaching, uh, whatever, you know, new products, new ideas, creating, drawing, you know. So, yeah. it's and And I think the bottom line is you wake up in the morning and you want to you want to do more, don't you? You're excited about what the day holds. Yes, and sometimes I don't sleep enough <laughs> because because I'm just so excited to wake up. I, I can't stand it sometimes because I'm like I just want to sleep. <laughs> I I think that's the 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 greatest uh, testament to what you've done. I want to get up in the morning and and I can't sleep in the meantime. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Amy Hunt, thank you so much for taking the time to visit with us about AMZ Scout. Um, also, be sure and check out your website for uh, your mission to sell USA Drive products at shopfamilyowned.com. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.